Dear students, welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to talk about synonyms, antonyms and idiomatic expressions. Okay, first of all, we are going to talk about synonyms. Uh, this is a very important topic in order to read and write in a proper way. Synonyms are words which have similar meanings. For example, we have some verbs, some nouns, some adjectives. In, in this case, I have selected some examples like participate, enjoy, exotic, and common, huge and vast, surprising and amazing, fragile and delicate, car and automobile, quickly and promptly. As you can see, synonyms can be present in, in different parts of a speech. We can have, as in the examples, we have verbs as in participate and join. We have adjectives as in surprising and amazing, fragile, delicate, exotic, and common. It's, uh, most of, this, of the words have synonyms. Uh, in nouns, we have car and automobile. And also we have uh, examples in adverbs, and in this case, quickly and promptly. OK, why should we use synonyms? Well, there are different reasons to use them in reading and writing. Uh, however, unconsciously, we are using them every day in our mother tongue, but in a second language and in a foreign language, they are also very important because they add variety to your vocabulary when speaking and writing. They also avoid repetition of the same word uh, several times. And they help us to be more specific when expressing certain ideas in writing or when we are speaking also. Um, when we are using synonyms, it's necessary to consider the meaning of the sentence in a specific context so that we, can, we don't change the meaning, the exact meaning of a word uh, in case we, we want to replace it with a synonym. Let's analyze the following examples that we have here. Um, in this case, in the first example, it says he is so funny because he is always telling humorous stories. We have here the synonyms funny and humorous. In the second example, we have please do not speak while I am talking. We have in this case two verbs, speak and talk, which convey the same meaning. And then we have I did well on the hard math test because I studied the difficult material. Again, we have hard and difficult. And in the last example, we have after Susan ate dinner, she devoured her dessert. So in this case, we have the verbs eat and devour. Now regarding antonyms, antonyms are words which are opposites. They express different meanings. In the examples we have here, we have uh, happy and sad, open and close, cold and hot, male and female, fast and slow, harsh and gentle, up and down. Again, we see that we can have antonyms for different parts of speech, like verbs, adjectives, prepositions or nouns. Again, why should we use antonyms? Of course, as in the case of synonyms, they can be used to improve our um, vocabulary, to understand what we are reading. And in the case we are writing, they help us to add variety to our writing and to make it more interesting. Also, they are very common when we are comparing and contrasting. Maybe people, we can compare and contrast objects, animals, situations, etc. 
they uh, help uh, also they help us add variety and um, variety and a certain a certain sense of um, a positive uh, a positive touch to our uh, to our writing and to our vocabulary so when you are using synonyms you will be sure your writing is not boring and it's interesting for the for the person who will read it let's analyze the following examples here in the first one we have patricia used to be very reserved but she's much more outgoing since she's been taking dancing lessons so in this sentence we have we have the words outgoing and reserved which are antonyms in the second case we have luis and pedro are brothers however they are very different luis is short and pedro is tall luis is fat and pedro is thin we are contrasting the two people here luis and pedro and using this, the antonyms short and tall fat and thin also we are going to talk about idiomatic expressions first of all let's um, review what an idiomatic expression is it is a group of words with a meaning of its own which is very different to the individual meaning of each word or each separate word so sometimes these expressions are a little difficult to understand because they sometimes they don't have any relationship uh, they don't give you the clue for understanding them but if you uh, if you start using them in a speech or uh, writing they will be very common for you after that so in the examples we have here i have catch one's eye a piece of cake raining cats and dogs apple of someone's eyes and save the day so uh, let's take for the, the first example catch one's eye it means to call someone's attention so if we separate the meaning of each word we are not going to understand the general meaning of the idiomatic expression in the second case a piece of cake uh, refers to something that it's very easy it's a piece of cake when you refer to the homework my teacher assigned yesterday but uh, if, if you don't know what the what is the meaning of the idiomatic expression you will not understand you will not understand what um, a speaker is trying to say or what uh, you find in a written text then we have raining cats and dogs it refers to the weather when it's raining a lot. So cats and dogs, what, what's the relationship? However, it, it, uh, it is the meaning of the expression. The apple of someone's size refers to the favorite person. Maybe the apple of someone's size um, refers to, maybe in the case of the father, his favorite song, or his favorite daughter, etc. When we use the expression save the day, uh, it refers to, the, um, to an action, which uh, is a positive action, when maybe unexpected bad results uh, were expected that for that. But save the day means that although the situation wasn't the best, that person could do uh, a good action that's why now in the examples we have also other idiomatic expressions like i'm all ears please tell me about the party i'm all ears means that i am ready to listen to you i'm ready to hear what you have to tell me about the party in this case in the second example we have i tried to catch her eye but she didn't notice me again catch her eye so I tried to call her attention but she didn't notice me in the third example we have Lucy was the apple of Pablo's eye for quite a long time so maybe Lucy was uh, Pablo's 
favorite friend or uh, favorite uh, daughter if Pablo is her is his um, is the father and Lucy is the daughter maybe the favorite daughter um, and then you have I haven't seen her in a dog's age here a dog's age refers to a long period of time and in the last case we have he opened a can of worms today means that uh, he did something that is going to cause him a lot of problems so that's what the expression wants uh, to explain to that's the meaning of the expression so thank you very much for your attention and uh, i hope we will have another topic to present in the next opportunity thank you very much <laughs>